Matthew here from FiberglassSupply.com. In this video, we are going to show you how to mix epoxy. All right, you're gonna need a few basic tools. You're gonna need a mixing container to mix in. If you're mixing by volume, you're gonna need one with graduations on it, and preferably in small enough increments so you don't have to mix up way too much or way too little. If you're gonna mix by weight, you'll want like a digital kitchen scale and a mixing container. In that case, it doesn't matter if the container has graduations or not. You'll need some stir sticks. Uh, we're using paint sticks here today. And then part of epoxy safety is keeping the epoxy off of you, so you'll want some rubber gloves and, and props. So the first thing you need to figure out is what your mix ratio is. In this case, we're using a two to one mix ratio, two parts resin, one part hardener by volume. If we're mixing by weight, that's 100 to 44. In this particular case, our resin has the ratio on the label. Most will have it either on the resin label or the hardener label or both. Some systems, the hardener has a different ratio, but it can be used with the same resin. So many hardeners, same resin, and they may have different ratios. West system epoxies are like that. By weight is often different, so you need to check on the bottle or on the data sheet just to make sure what that ratio is by weight. Again, in this case, we're using a two to one. It's a simple, easy to mix, easy to do the math. You need twice as much resin to, as you do hardener or half as much hardener as you have resin. Once we've established what our mix ratio is, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glove up because we wanna keep the wet epoxy off our skin. All right. Now that we've gloved up, we're going to mix it up. In this case, we're just gonna do 300 milliliters total, which would be 200 milliliters of resin and 100 milliliters of harder. Okay, once we have our epoxy measured out, we want to mix it. We want to make sure that we mix it for two minutes. And as we're mixing it, we want to make sure that we scrape the sides and the bottom of the container and get those areas really well mixed. If you've ever had a cup of epoxy that after it cures and you remove that cured epoxy from the cup and you notice it's gummy at the bottom, that's because those areas didn't get mixed well enough. We want to avoid that because we want this epoxy to harden up properly on whatever we're putting on. In this case, this epoxy is very low viscosity and it's pretty easy to mix. But some have high viscosity A sides and they can be a little more difficult to mix. And so you really want to pay attention, scrape the sides, scrape the bottom. And with the higher viscosities, I'll even scrape off the stir stick and, and remix all that in so that we know that we've got a good mix in there. Again, mix for two minutes, scraping sides and bottom changing up your stir pattern and making sure you get that thoroughly mixed together. All right, there you go. It's pretty straightforward. To mix epoxy, you need to make sure you're mixing at the right ratio, whether that's by volume or by weight, and stir thoroughly, scraping the sides and the bottom of the container for at least two minutes. If you have any other questions, please reach out to us or leave a comment below. Thank you.